I'm sorry that I left you. I know you feel alone, but God told me that He needed me. He called me to come home. In what seemed to be an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, an angel gently took my hand and led me toward the sky. As I ascended into heaven beyond the pearly gates, angels were rejoicing. Then I saw his radiant face. God's eyes shone down upon me from the glory of his throne. He said, Enter into paradise. Cause heaven's now your home I fought the fight I finished the race Throughout the trials I kept my faith No longer do I suffer My body's been made whole I'm flying with the angels, and heaven's now my home. God told me not to worry, He said you'd be okay, because eternity's forever, and we'll meet again someday. I fought the fight, I finished the race Throughout the trial I kept my faith No longer do I suffer My body's been made whole I'm flying with the angels And heaven's now my home Flying with the angels, heaven's now my home. And the Senate management has staff for all the kind attention Senator Anki Afion Rebecca Amma received from when she fell ill running over a year, evacuated twice as well, until this moment of farewell to the greater beyond. While of course thanking you again in advance for the statutory and voluntary financial assistance to the family of the deceased in this moment of grief. Of course, we are grateful to the active forces of Indian Division in particular and the Southwest region in general for all support as well as the commitment of the medical team towards our recovery during illness. We hail the simplicity, humility, devotedness and loyalty of Senator Anki Afrin Rebecca Arna throughout our professional and political life in service to the nation. May Senator Aki Afion Rebecca Ahmad farewell to eternal peaceful repose. May all who take part in this homage ceremony as well as in the various stages of the funeral travel and return safely to your respective destinations. Honorable President of the Senate, Your Excellencies, Honorable Members of the Senate and National Assembly, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for your kind attention.
speech by C. Delphine Ford, Capitan James Vice President of the Senate, personal representative of the venerated President of the Senate, during the ceremony of to pay homage to Senator Anki Afio Rebecca Amba. Dear family members of Senate, Ankea, Senator Ankea Afio Rebecca Amba. <coughs> members of the Royal of the Senate, Members of Parliament, Members of Government here present, Distinguished guests, and all protocol due respect. Ladies and gentlemen, The day of Senator Anne Kia Fion Rebecca Ama, a few weeks ago, brings to 12 the number of colleagues who have left us in the course of the legislative period that is about to end. It's great pain, so great a pain for us to leave behind so many members of the great family that we have formed here in the Senate. Mrs. Anki, I feel Rebecca Amma has been a member of this family since 2018. That is, since the very first days of the existence of Upper House, of part of our planet. Her life began in the Southeast region. Indian division is Sangam, subdivision where she was born on 29 May 1964 in Oron village. She was until her death, always regarded as on call Bakasi. After her primary secondary education, Mrs. Ankiafio Rebecca entered politics in 1986 by joining the ranks of the Cameroon People Democratic Movement, CDPM. A committed militant, as you have heard, who was mindless in her dynamism, Mrs. Anki Akhia Rebecca Amman was quickly noticed for her great desire to serve her party, the CPDA, and her country, Cameroon. Through her hard work, her sharp witness, and her audacity, she very quickly won the confidence and respect of her colleagues, and especially that of the President of the Republic. It's Excellency Paul Bia, National Chairman of the CPDM, who appointed her as member of the CPDM Central Committee in 1996. Pursuing her a brilliant political career, Mrs. Anne Kiafio was elected senator in 2018. She was re-elected in 2018 and continued working with her commitment and high sense of responsibility within the Committee on Cultural, Social and Family Affairs, of which she was a member during her two terms in the Senate. Although already suffering from the illness, Senator Anki Afio with her legendary tenacity and fighting spirit, and without giving anything away, 
continue to carry out her duties, leaving us with the hope that she will win the fight against the disease she was suffering from. But God Almighty, in whom she believed and very fervently too, and whom she personally, passionately said, decided otherwise. Therefore, at the time of saying goodbye to her, I would like on behalf of the venerated president of the Senate, His Excellency Marcel Nyati Gifendi, on whose behalf, and on behalf of all the members of the Senate Bureau, and on behalf of all senators of the second legislature, express to her children and grandchildren, her colleagues of the CPA, and to all those who knew her, my sincere and the sincere condolences of our president, Nyat Gifendi. Dear colleague Bakasi, as you will know, Senator Anki Afel, Robert Captain, Amma, go and rest in peace. May your soul rest in peace in the land of our sisters. Thank you. D'abord, elle s'est démarquée par beaucoup d'humilité, bien que ce soit une femme forte. Une militante du RDPC de la première heure et un sénateur qui remplissait vraiment tout ce qu'on attend d'un sénateur, autant sur le terrain chez elle qu'ici au Sénat. Et personnellement, je trouve qu'elle est partie trop tôt. Nous aurions voulu la garder plus longtemps, mais le Créateur a décidé autrement. Je présente mes condoléances le plus sincères à toute sa famille, ses enfants, ceux qui lui sont chers, et leur dit que le Sénat reste leur famille. En ce qui me concerne personnellement, Rebecca va et que... La terre de nos ancêtres te soit légère parce que tu as été et tu es une grande femme pour ton pays, pour ton département.